What's up, fellow Geminis? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Centian, and welcome to your October 2022 mid-month reading. Disclaimer, before we get into the video, this is not, and I repeat, not a love and light channel. If you are looking for sunshine and rainbows, goody goody gumdrops and whatnot, this is not the place for you. If you are looking for a reader who's going to lie to you and tell you everything that you want to hear, it's not me. You may want to go find that reader. However, if you are looking for the truth, serve straight up. It's just like the libations that we pour for our ancestors. This is the place and I am your girl. Welcome. Gemini, if you are new here and you are still here, congratulations. You've made it past the disclaimer. You are a real one. Let me know what's real by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and saying hello in the comments below. If you are not new, it's because of you, Gemini, that this channel continues to grow and thrive. So thank you so much for your engagement. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your video. Any information you need to know about me as far as booking or where to follow me is in the description box below. But let's get into it. So today I'm doing something that um, I haven't done in a long time which is the energy check, like the energy readings, the love readings, okay? Um, the reason is because we are in Libra season, which is a season, uh, well, Libra is a sign of partnership. And also, uh, right now, we have both the planet of Venus and the sign of Libra, as well as obviously the sun, so there is a huge focus on partnerships right now. So I wanted to see what was going on with the partnerships in your life. These readings may be about a platonic friendship. It may be about family. It could be about your love life. Take it how it resonates. Okay, but let's go ahead and get into it. I feel like I was stumbling right there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I be trying to think faster than I can talk. Gemini shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so what is the overall energy spirit? What is the overall energy of this reading for the Gemini Collective? We have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is about rest, recovery, and meditation. As you can see in this card, it is a lamb with a sun over its third eye receiving some type of download, some type of information through meditation, okay? Resting your mind. And let's see what the Lover's Oracle has to say. And it says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So what this is already feeling like is... um. Listening to your ancestors, trusting your intuition, you know, you already have the answers. So this reading is probably just going to be confirmation for you. So let's see what the person that you are dealing with is thinking or feeling about you. What is the person that Gemini is dealing with or whoever they're thinking about at this time? How do they feel about Gemini? We have the Ace of Wands with the world. Okay. Three of Swords in the reverse. Death in the reverse. This is sounding like an X, y'all. <laughs> the Sun and the Eight of Swords. Okay. And how is Gemini feeling about this person? Four of Pentacles. Six of Cups, definitely an X. Clarified by the Tower, definitely an X. How is Gemini feeling about this person? <laughs> Look, hello, hello, hello. What is the mutual energy? This is a little bit messy. Page of Swords. Get the hell out of here. 
bottom of the deck is justice. Let's talk. Let's talk about it, fellow Geminis, because look, listen. Whoever this is about is most certainly somebody from your past. This person may have reached out recently as we were in Mercury retrograde and that often brings out a lot of the exes. It brings all the exes to the yard. Um, like I said, Venus is currently in the sign of Libra. So this person, on top of feeling that residual Mercury retrograde energy where they just, you know, was reminiscing and whatnot, may have started feeling extra lovey-dovey in reference to you when they think about you. And so what this person wants now is to give you the world. They want the door to open to give you the world. They want a new opportunity. They want completion with you. This person finally realizes that you complete them, that you are it. It's been you all along. This person, three of swords in the reverse, wants to heal whatever it is that they did, Gemini, to cause the ending between you and them, okay? This person wants to not end. <laughs> they don't want to end, death in reverse. They don't want this to end, okay? They don't want it to be over. And with the sun and the eight of swords, I feel that in their mind, okay, you are, I'm hearing, what song is that? My starship, you are my starship. I don't know who sings that song. My starship, like you are like their salvation. You are, like it's you, it's been you all along and they know that now. But there is something preventing them from coming towards you. And I think I know exactly what that is. Okay. But right now, they're in this mentally, they're in a mental prison of their own making. And what's happening in that prison is that they are reminiscing about all the times that y'all spent together, all the happy times that y'all had. Uh, the jokes, the way that you made them laugh and smile, and like that's what's playing in their head over and over and over and over. And there's nothing that they can do about it. Porque the first thing that comes up for you is four of pentacles. You are not interested. You do not want to give to that. You don't want to give them shit. You do not want to invest with them. You're good. All right. Six of cups. Reunion with the tower, okay? Six of Cups, past energy with the tower. You don't look at the past all that fondly. You don't forgive them. Or if you do forgive them, you have no interest in waking that that demon back up, all right? A reawakening that dragon. You're not interested. Because what you see in the past... Y'all hear that? It might have been abusive. It might have been a lot of toxicity. Might have been the cops being called on each other. It might have been a very um, problematic relationship. And I feel like the reason why you will have no interest in speaking to this person is because you're good where you're at. You have the four of wands with the queen of pentacles. You are taken care of. Your home is happy. Some of you may have moved on to other relationships where you're getting everything from this person that you didn't get from them. For some of you, you may still be single, but you are enjoying the peace of your home. You're enjoying coming home to just your dog, just your cat, to a fridge full of whatever you left in there before you left. You don't have to worry about your Chinese food being missing because this person's there. You don't got to worry about uh, whether or not somebody besides them was in your house today. Like you are enjoying the peace of your home. So you are super good 
on this person. <laughs> the mutual energy is the page of swords and the eight of wands. This person is watching. This person is watching you, um, wanting to communicate, wanting to come towards you, looking for an opportunity to come towards you. And I feel like for you, it's quite the opposite. Like I see you and I'm doing everything I can to move the fuck away from you. I don't want to communicate with you. I want to travel away from you. <laughs> My ear is ringing as I'm saying that. So it's like the mutual energy is actually mirrored. Like I see you, you see me, but you're wanting to come towards me and I'm wanting to run the fuck away. All right. So let's get your island time and wellness and see what, what else, what else is there, spirit? Uh, wow. Mirror. Didn't I just say it's like y'all were mirroring each other? Mirroring each other. Self-image relationship reflects our wounds and introspection. Four of swords energy can be introspective as well. So I feel like with looking at that relationship, like you, <laughs> the card that just came out just has me fucking crying because it's a karmic relationship. Like this is a relationship that you have learned from. This is a relationship that you have grown from. This relationship showed you everything that you did not want and then you went out here and you found exactly who you wanted. You went out here and found exactly who would treat you the way that you want to be treated. Uh, for some of the, for some of you all who haven't, you know, moved on to someone else, again, you found the peace. You started treating yourself in the way that you deserve to be treated. Okay. Some of you all are simply manifesting the complete opposite of this person. So for this person to have the audacity to come back around acting like you're going to accept them after all this y'all have been through, it's laughable. This shit is karmic. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. And that's exactly what you did. You let go of this person and started loving yourself more. Some of you all, because you've done that, have attracted people who want to love you right. The last two cards that come out are the heartbroken card because that's all this person did. They're even admitting that on their side because they're trying to fix it, okay? And this person had you in third-party situations. Either they had you in third-party situations or they know that you have a new relationship, they know that you're doing your own thing and they're trying to seduce you back away from that person, okay? So we have the... Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning, which is the energy that you were in when this relationship um, deteriorated. And then you have the seduction card, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So I feel like for some of you, this person, even though they know that you have somebody, if they're not blocked on social media, they're in your comments, liking heart eyes, doing weird shit like that. They're sliding in your DMs. Um, some may be more subtle, hiding hiding behind fake pages, liking your shit, watching your shit. But they're about to make their, their presence known uh, with the Eight of Wands energy and the Page of Swords. They're definitely watching you and looking for the perfect opportunity to have some type of direct communication with you. All right, so let's get your monology messages. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So this is a card that challenges you to be authentic. All right, when this person shows up, keep it all the way 100. Don't do it all the false niceties and you know, acting like, you know, it's all good. The past is the past. If you don't fuck with them, don't fuck with them and continue to not fuck with them. Don't make them feel like they have an end or that there's a possibility of a friendship. Because what I feel is this person is trying to take you away from your new life without them. They don't, 
<laughs> but some of y'all, they don't want you to be happy with nobody else. And for some of y'all, it's just too little, too late. Like, they realized too late that you were, you the one that they think of all of that. Believe in the impossible. This is a new moon card with a new start is coming. Okay. So for some of you, you haven't yet manifested whoever it is that's supposed to come after them, but they're definitely on the way. If you are in a new relationship, I feel like it's only the beginning. Like, um, whatever you've been experiencing with your new person it ha has been pleasant, it has been beautiful, but like that's just the beginning. It gets better, it gets bigger. Um, I don't know, I'm getting a proposal. There's possibly a proposal here from the new person. So for some of you, this person may try to um, speak to you, like make up their mind to speak to you, head to your DMs, and as soon as they get ready to say something to you, you put up this post about how you, she said yes, face ass. <laughs> and that's what stops the communication, like fuck, I missed the boat. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's definitely, if you're already in a new relationship, there's more to come from that. If you're not, you're about to be, or you're about to manifest someone who you could really see yourself with, but all in all, this person is late. <laughs> this person is late. Okay. So let's get your crystal spirit. Bronzite. Bronzite keeps coming out. All right. Bronzite is number 13. So death card energy was done is done and things bring about new beginnings um but let's see what the message here is for bronze eye spirit hey first first word loyalty because like i said some of y'all they're gonna try to seduce you away from the person who you are currently with who is actually making you happy so Essential meaning, loyalty, trust, steadfastness, self-respect, trusting the conscious universe has your back. Now is the time to be sure you, you trust in the conscious universe and remain true to your authentic self. As Bronzite Spirit appears with a message that loyalty must be earned. And I don't feel like this person has earned any loyalty. Um, be judicious with Extending your trust, knowing it is a gift from the conscious universe. That must be honored. Respect others by being trustworthy yourself. Speaking of them in ways that are honorable. Heal the past by owning your role in it so that you can trust yourself again. Having learned the lessons that will strengthen you. The relationship message says, even if you've been betrayed in the past, you can heal the sting by extending trust again. As challenging as that may be. Bronzite Spirit reminds you that this time, however, you are much wiser and stronger, much more mindful of the signs that signal you need to step back and nurture yourself. Being true to another is an expression of beauty of the divine, and you have the capacity. Your loyalty and steadfastness will be rewarded by the conscious universe, perhaps in ways that you don't expect. Be true to yourself, knowing that a loving, respectful relationship with yourself lays the groundwork for a loving, respectful relationship with another. Remember, you are always protected when being divinely directed. So loyalty to yourself, loyalty to whoever the new person is, um, and not letting this person become a distraction or a problem uh, for your new life, for your new relationship, for whatever it is to come. All right, uh, let's get your advice. What is the advice? The lovers with the seven of cups in the reverse. See through the illusion that this person is going to portray. That, and not saying they didn't learn the lesson, but they're not for you. 
you are with the person that you're supposed to be with or you are being prepared for the person that you're supposed to be with. You are in alignment to receive what it is that you deserve. This person from your past is beneath you at this point. Look, I see the devil when I said that. They're beneath you at this point. They had their opportunity. So stay, stay true to where you are. Stay true to your current path. Whatever that may be. Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, which means that there's definitely some reciprocity there. Look, it's all a manipulation. It's all a game. Five of Swords energy. This person just doesn't want whoever you're with to have you. Or this person doesn't want you to be without them. It's all a game. They're trying to take advantage of you in some way, shape, or form. The way you're going to avoid that is by isolating yourself. Hermit in the reverse. Firm isolation away from this person. That's how you're going to prevent this tower. And that's how you are going to take control of the situation with the emperor energy. All right? The solution here is hard blocking. Absolutely not. Immediate no. If you get that, hey, big head text, block. There's no need to even respond. Keep on pouring into the situations that pour into you. Six of Pentacles energy, reciprocity. This person, this new person that you're with is already giving you everything that you need. Give them back that same energy, that same loyalty. Um, your new path, if you're not with anyone, is giving you everything that you need. It's giving you space. It's giving you peace. It's giving you um, healing. Stay in alignment with that. This person is just here to disrupt you. Get you off track. They're phony. They fake. <laughs> and that's the type of, I hate. And maybe they have, you know, realized that you're the one that, that, that you're what makes them happy. But I feel like happiness to them and happiness to you, Gemini, is two different levels of happiness. For them, it's superficial. It's immediate, you know, satisfaction it's not long term they don't have a long game in mind they just want that instant gratification you are looking at the long term you are looking at long term stability queen of pentacles energy with the four of wands and this person or the situation that you find yourself in without them gives you that so don't fall for the schemes all right so, your postcard from Spirit says, Dear as you, sometimes it's wonderful to give, but there may be times that you find yourself overgiving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you're more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully with gratitude without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some, maybe even you. You don't need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world, so let the world give back. Let the world support you. And then you can give up the old stories that you've been convinced that you have to do everything alone and with no help. Let your well be filled. And I feel in your new life, since you've moved on from this person, you are being given to more. You are receiving more abundance. You are being poured into, whereas you weren't before. And so maybe that may be feeling kind of odd. It may feel uncomfortable or awkward, but that's in alignment with what you deserve. That spirit telling you that this is what your life could be. You could be taken care of like this all the time if you continue to reject situations like the one from the past, okay? So that's that on that. Leave that joker where they at. <laughs> Put them on block, you know, and continue to live your life. Continue to grow. Continue to be blessed, all right? Because this person is simply trying to distract you, and that is not cute, all right? They're simply trying to disrupt your life, and that is not what's popping, all right? So that is your reading if this resonates for you, Gemini, let me know in the comments below. 
If it resonates way too much and you need a personal reading, you can book at SavvySentient.com and like, share, subscribe. And until the next time that I read for you all, I'm wishing you all love and light. Now go get right and I will see you in the next one.